explain to the jury who she is? Oh, uh, uh, Debbie, Debbie Lloyd is a, a, is a, a nurse um, who my doctor, Dr. Kipper, had assigned to, uh, to my case to, to be the, uh, um, to, to oversee um, the detox and uh, uh, deliver the, the meds, the medications to me that would help with my, uh, with the, the, uh, the effects of withdrawal that, that, uh, that one goes through the, uh, to, to essentially try and knock you out so that you don't go yeah. through Going right now inside of the courtroom here, you can see Amber Heard uh, taking uh, the seat right here. Uh, let's listen in into uh, the courthouse here as we are waiting now uh, the judge uh, to come here. But uh, obviously the moment is uh, coming very, very close right here on Live Now from Fox. Of course, we got you covered so many ways right here. And uh, so this is the moment Amber Heard already there. We, uh, we know that Johnny Depp will not be here. So that was a, a big announcement that came earlier today when we heard that the verdict that was in. Johnny was not going to be uh, in the courthouse here, but we just had Amber Heard sit down as we are about 10 minutes wow. away <clears throat> from. So, Johnny, everyone's upset outside because Johnny Depp isn't going to be there. Uh, he couldn't make it there. He was, tr I guess he was trying to get there, but he, he's not going to be there. So he won't be there for the verdict, but. Amber Heard will be there uh, for the verdict. So, but honestly, it, it, even if 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 uh, if Amber Heard was not guilty, Johnny Depp's reaction would be this. And if Amber Heard is guilty, Johnny her uh, Johnny Depp's uh, reaction would probably be this. You know, wouldn't get too much out of him. But I'm betting. If Amber Heard is not guilty, her reaction will be this. <gasps> and I bet you if Amber Heard is guilty, her reaction will be this. <laughs> so what's weird to me is that these two individuals, in my opinion... Will probably have the same react would have the same reactive faces, regardless of the decision and the verdict. I really believe that that's true. Now maybe you don't, but I do. I hope you guys can go ahead and hit that like button right now, and stick the thumb way up there, because it's getting close to crunch time. I believe we believe most believe that we will get this verdict at exactly 3 p.m. And if you're sitting here bored waiting, remember Diablo Immortal is out today. So I've been pretty pumped up about that. Finally, guys, do you guys even have phones? Because now Diablo Immortal is already out early. It was supposed to be out tomorrow, but it's out on phones right now. Look, I can see it. I can play it. It's out. Diablo Immortal. I'm pumped up. It'll be out on PC tonight at midnight or 3 a.m. I don't know, whatever, uh, but June 2nd. So looking forward to that. Check out this guy in the front row. Suspect looking guy. Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean months before the article's publication. How come he's just from Pirates of the Caribbean now? Like, what happened to Edward Scissorhands and all the millions of other things that Johnny Depp has done? Okay? Abuse. A hoax. Heard's lawyers have said that uh, his attorney made those <laughs> statements uh, about Johnny Depp, something that Depp, of course, denies. There's quite the timeline to their relationship, Mike. The two met in 2009 nice while filming The Rum Diary. Despite their 22-year age difference, nom, nom, testified nom, nom, nom. Uh, there was an instant connection when Depp met with her as he considered her for a role in the film here. She said, that was uh, a mistake. as she testified on the stand, she said, I was a no-name actor. I was 22. He was twice my age. He's this world-famous actor, and here we are getting along without... Uh, about obscure books and old blues. Many uh, testifying that Amber Heard was always kind of an old soul when it came to all of that. Uh, he was then uh, 36 years old. Um, she's now 36 years old, I guess I should say. Uh, while they had chemistry during the filming of the movie, uh, she said they didn't begin dating uh, until doing a press tour 
for mm -hmm. the uh, film's release in 2011. Uh, at the outset, they kept their relationship a secret at, f at first there. Her testified that the first act of physical abuse against her by Depp happened in 2013. The two eventually married in February of 2014, reportedly at their Los Angeles home, uh, but they uh, did not last long. Uh, we would later learn that, Mike. In May of 2016, Heard filed for divorce and obtained a temporary restraining order. Didn't last long like like most of her other boyfriends, but then again, she I don't think she took a restraining out order out on the other guys, right? Like, you know, like she didn't get a restraining order on Elon Musk, uh... You know, she didn't get a restraining order on, on the other boyfriends, I guess. So who, who knows what's really going on? I think we're looking at, you know, two two kind of silly people damaged a bit. But um, I just think that nobody really buys her thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you guys had problems. Like, a lot of people have problems. But but only But only Johnny Depp, originally, only Johnny Depp lost his acting roles. You know, that's why when people are like, see the difference, they, everyone loves Johnny Depp, but Amber Heard's crapped on. She complains about, you know, being bullied or being whatever, like misogyny, whatever you want to call it, whatever they say, you know, no matter what Johnny Depp is loved. And that's a good point. That's true that no matter what Johnny Depp seems to be loved for the most part, but here's the thing. Only one of them were basically canceled in Hollywood. Johnny Depp lost Pirates of the Caribbean over the things that she talked about. You know what I mean? So she didn't lose anything until now. Now she's losing stuff because people see that she's also a, a bit of an idiot. So, but but originally it was just him for the last, how many years has it been now? For two, three years now? I think to at least two years. Two, three years. Johnny Depp has had problems because of what happened with Amber Heard. Nobody wanted to come near him. They They let him go. Disney won't touch him. And that's her. That's because of her. So if he didn't do these things, then he's going after her for the defamation. That's the difference. That's so when people are like, oh, you know, there's no difference and the two of them are treated differently. Well, here's one of the, the reasons why is because he lost every he lost things. She didn't. Until now is joining me here uh, as we wait for this moment. Five minutes away, five maybe five minutes. And uh, what we this judge is usually right on the mark. So. We could get this verdict at exactly 3 p.m. I mean, maybe we won't. Maybe it'll be a little bit delayed. But one thing I can say about this judge has been that if you've been watching it, and from what I've read about the judge in this case, because I haven't really been watching everything, but from what I've read, you know, they this verdict is, uh, is going to come like boom, right on the dot. So that's what I come to understand here, you know from the judge. Let me see here. What's up, Chad? How you guys doing, man? They still love each other, says David. <laughs> you think so? Johnny is not there. So Johnny Depp is not there. Amber Heard is there. I'm traveling from around the world. But Johnny Depp is not there. So so Amber Heard is in the courtroom and Johnny Depp is not there. And like I said, you know, from what I, you know, if if, uh, if Amber Heard was there, if Amber, let, let me put it to you this way. Like I said, if Johnny Depp wins this, Johnny Depp's reaction would be like, oh, okay, I won. If, if Johnny Depp loses, his reaction would be like, oh, very good. I, I won. I lost. Or if I lost, I lost. I lost. Okay. Like, but Amber Heard's reaction is going to be like, oh, no matter what, I am going, like, let's place bets right now. I am betting that no matter what happens, Amber Heard cries. I got fi I got all my money on that. I swear to God to you, no matter what happens, Amber Heard cries. Oh, uh, I, I think so many people are attached to it because really it's it's so much acting i mean you have two uh, famous actors that are standing up there sitting up there on the stand. well let's be honest uh, we got one famous actor and another freeloader like come on forming for the jury let's not be I'm ridiculous saying that maybe john De De johnny depp performed a little bit better there but yep he's not going to be there he is performing <laughs> uh has been performing in front of a sold out crowd alongside jeff beck uh at the royal albert hall in london 
for three nights in a row uh, as he was awaiting the verdict in this defamation trial against his ex-wife. He even invited his ex-girlfriend, Kate Moss, uh, to the concert on Tuesday night, just last night. That's according to a source uh, with the Hollywood star. This motherfucker's in a defamation case, and he's like, I'm just going to go play some music. <laughs> How the fuck? He's a part of oh this God. trial, too, and, and here they both are uh, just kind of hanging out in London and, and not seeming, seemingly not too worried about all this. Um, here's what I find interesting. That's hilarious. Like, is, I mean, there's millions of dollars that are on the line for Johnny Depp and for Amber Heard. Although Amber Heard has testified, it's not about the money for her. It's about getting her name straight uh, and saying that, hey, I'm not a liar. For Johnny Depp, he also says it's not about the money. He is also saying he wants to get his MJF name straight. MJF promo uh, advertised for to, Dynamite course, tonight. Uh, be able to get some of these new jobs uh, and, and be able to play in roles such as Pirates of the Caribbean. So not sure if That's what it's about. Uh, they both were able to do that successfully through this trial but they have gotten a lot more attention that is for sure so we are they just were probably paid by the government to do all this from when this uh, verdict i is think they were paid by the government read, like here's the money uh, do you believe it is going to be on time here and there are so many different outcomes there's only a minute left man we're gonna see this judge i think any second hey i mean th thank you uh, for the donation alex Oli. uh Yes, MJF is advertised tonight for a promo on um, AEW, which is crazy. So look for that. It's going to be nuts. What's up, chat? How are you guys doing? We're going to get weird, bro. Let's see. Then... Uh that demise and seeing that pretty crazy really, stuff uh, roller coaster uh, it looks like maybe MJF it sounds like MJF and Tony Khan must have agreed to something I think if he's cutting a promo so maybe they've agreed to some kind of uh, I think they should do the Vince McMahon Stone Cold have Tony Khan come out there and MJF give him a, a DDT oh here we go here we go I understand we have a verdict. All right, are we ready for the jury? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Just to, for everybody in the gallery, reminder this, that this Here is a court of law. Uh, and uh, regardless of the verdict, I will not tolerate any outburst whatsoever. Okay? Thank you. I wish she said that with a hacksaw in her hand. That would been funnier. <laughs> Regardless of what happens, this judge is, uh, she's on the ball, I feel like. <laughs> you hear a lot of gum chewing, I feel like. A lot of whispering going on. There's like a giant ASMR going on right now. Do you hear that? Put this on Twitch, we'll make a bunch of fucking money. Come on. Either way, she cries. I got money on. She's crying no matter what. Guilty, not guilty. She's crying and she's going. <gasps> That's happening. Regardless. Regardless. Guilty or not guilty. That's happening. I'm telling you, bro. Bring the damn audio back. Bring the audio back. I'll be up in a minute. And we continue to wait right now. Amber Heard, we see front and center. Uh, the, the lawyers just went to speak <coughs> to the judge at her request. We continue to wait for this moment right here on Live. Either Down way, guys. Meanwhile, Johnny Depp's playing guitar somewhere. Like, hey, <laughs> Johnny Depp's playing guitar somewhere. Win or lose, he's playing guitar somewhere. 
Well, she's 36, guys. I mean, All you right, know. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what I need you to do, I need to give the forms back to you. Um, <clears throat> when you find it for a defamatory statement, um, one or more, you need to fill out the compensatory damages. It has to be at least a dollar for compensatory damages and up to whatever you feel the damages should be. And for punitive damages, you can put a zero there or you can fill out that as well. But I'd need those uh, lines filled out, okay? Bro, she All definitely right, so cost I... Johnny Depp like a couple million bucks at least. Operation room and do that for me, okay? And really, the drama continues right now as the uh, judge has asked the jury to go back in. They have to file uh, and redo uh, some of their paperwork right now. You see Amber Heard there standing uh, with her attorneys here. And really, you All felt right, so that we'll anticipation. In to hear back from them. Don't go too far. Okay. Okay, Thank so you. she, she right. just instructed oh, wow. Amber Heard. In God the last, damn it, I knew this was going to drag go on far, forever. As I was saying, you were, hurt, uh, you were feeling that anticipation inside of uh, the courtroom, and now we wait some more. Let's bring in uh, right now my co-host. Uh, Daytona. That means they found her liable for something. She's guilty of something. And now we wait, Daytona. Yeah, yet another delay in this. Dude, she's got to be guilty of something because they found her liable. The judge was like, yo, if you've got to label what statements cost what. That's what she just said, right? So she's guilty. ...that are set up to get some analysis on this, though. Um, I want to bring in Ken Belkin. He's bro, she's guilty of something because the judge is like, you need to like list these amounts. Holy shit, bro. She's definitely guilty. A bit of a delay in this, Ken. Uh, why is that, and, and what happens now? Uh, it looks to me like they have to fill out the verdict sheet more accurately or completely. Uh, you know, jurors are not She's lawyers, be guilty, and they're then. a sheet to fill out with respect to the damages. Uh, it looks like it wasn't filled out completely, and they need to just go back in there and address it. Um, it seems like, you know, they've already got a verdict, so they just have to dot their I's and cross their T's with respect to the details on the uh, verdict sheet that this court uses. So let's talk about that verdict sheet because I've I've looked at it myself and it's pretty confusing. It, it's not super straightforward. This is different than uh, a different type of case where it's uh, like a murder case or something. This is definitely- Okay, so maybe she's not guilty. Maybe she's still not guilty because, the, but they have to fill out the verdict sheet so we don't really know. The jury works at Taco Bell. I don't know. Well, the, the jury screwed up, so they didn't fill out something. Um, somebody won, and I guess I guess she was suing him, too. So th there's a countersuit from her, so it could be anything, I guess. I, I don't know. It could it, maybe, it, maybe it could be that he's, in, he's, you know, either way. I think what did, he sued her for something, and she countersued him for more, right? Like $100 million or something? I don't know. It's pretty crazy, bro. But, yeah, so the jury's dumb. So they went back. So I I'm betting this will take another 10 minutes now. You know, we were supposed to hopefully get a verdict, and now we're sitting here waiting even longer. Uh, or did Hurd's team establish an amount of damages for this court to award? And uh, we're going to see the answer to those questions, I imagine, uh, within the hour. Okay, so you think within the hour they'll be able to go back and kind of fix some of those changes and come back and be able to. I gotta fucking go to work. Oh, why are yeah, we live it seems right like now? They've already made a decision on on the ultimate issues here. They just have to, you know, figure out yep. what the numbers look like. What's remote thirty? Okay, so uh, we're going to be watching for that. Uh, Ken, as we move forward here uh, into the rest Thank of you. the day, after the, the, after the verdict is read, um, what happens then? How quickly do things kind of go into pace? Uh, how quickly could potentially one of them get the money? I, I know that maybe there's a lot of moving parts in that, but uh, that defamation one. cases, what does that usually look like? Well, well, look, in, in any civil lawsuit setting, it's one thing to win the case. Uh, it's another thing to get the money. Uh, and what I mean by that, I'm not trying to be coy, but the reality is uh, if there is a substantial amount awarded to either side. Um, Can we literally turn the microphone off on whoever's typing on the fucking keyboard right now? And on appeal, you know, attempt to get the appeals court to either, you know, invalidate the verdict or to knock down. Hey, remember when JD sent me a cease and desist over nothing that made no sense? 
I don't know where that cease and desist is. Remember my remember the cease and desist that JD sent me, JD's lawyer or whatever. That had not that like most of it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> and he like referenced a podcast that was done on the paywall. And uh, you know what's funny is JD talks so much shit about so many people at WWE. But the guy sent me like us a cease and desist. Sent me personally a cease and desist. I still can't believe that, man. The stuff that people say about me that I don't care. I just I find it crazy. Like my life is hilarious. Like I'm actually slandered by people. Things are actually made up about me. I don't I don't cease and desist people. You know. But the thing he cease and desists me over is that he has sex with cats or something. <laughs> What? Yes, people really believe that, I guess, huh? I should read that again. What was that place? Satterlite Surlites or something fucking? It was like Satterly something. I do think Johnny Depp won something because it's just the fact that they're itemizing stuff and trying to figure that out, man. It really sounds like he won. Either way, Amber Heard's going to cry. I know it. If she wins, she cries. She loses, she cries. Guarantee it. It's coming. Man, I wish I had that... that I wish I still had the cease and desist. Where is it? I remember my lawyer told me, told me to tell them to fuck themselves <laughs> basically oh here it is They have the benefit of not having to be pragmatic at all. And I don't say that to, to be glib or funny, but it, it's true. He, he's he got, you know, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. He can afford some lawyers to appeal this if he's lost. Uh, he can afford, you know, to, to, to go and try and evade the judgment through creative means. And so can she for that matter. And it doesn't look like any ground has been given. I have to imagine any judgment that's rendered here as a result of the verdict, I get the feeling that whoever the liable party is, they're probably going to try and avoid paying even one red cent to the other because hmm. there is such acrimony on both sides here. Mm -hmm. Boy, and we've seen that play out there all in real time there. Uh, I, I, I've got a question too. Just oh yeah, let's, so let's look at the, let's, let's look at JD's um, cease and desist that he sent to me. Um, this is this is the funniest part right here. Justin Bailey's tweet on February 7th, anticipating JD's attorney shutting it down. You can recognize the post, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, this is Justin Bailey. This has nothing to do with me. Beyond the defamation claims, you have attempted to impact his livelihood. And it was like, okay, nope, I never called for him to be fired. So that's a lie. So JD's lawyer is a liar. Um, these intentional in, intentional actions escalated to disrupt his ongoing business relationship with his employer. No, it no, it doesn't. Nope, that's not true. That's a lie. Never did I ever do that. In fact, that's been done to me. <laughs> now, see, he's talking about trolls who do this and equating it with me for some reason. Like this happens to me. Who do I blame? Who can I blame the trolls on? You know what I mean? But for some reason, 
uh, I, 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 a lawyer is literally lying. You could never prove that because I never did that. Copyrights have been infringed upon by posting a picture of him. So I took a picture with JD at an event, and he says that's copyright. So if you if you're friends and you take a picture somewhere and you post it on Twitter, that's a copyright infringement. But it's not. There's no license needed for me to reproduce them on Twitter. Infringed by posting copies of his photo photography without his permission that one or more of these photos was sent to a person. Like It's like, dude, bro, go fucking what are you fucking talking about, bro? What are you talking about? So the guy, the guy literally tried to say that by posting a photo that's on social media of us was a problem. Like, I mean, dude, trust me, I've seen a million things like this. I've actually been slandered. I've actually been slandered by people and I've never sent a cease and desist. There are people who have legit slandered the hell out of me and cost me tons of money. I've actually actually lost tons of money because people are like, well, I left your th I left your thing because people told me about what you did. And I'm like, what did I do? What are you talking about? Well, you know, because you do these sort of... And I'm like, I didn't do that. And then they're like, well, whatever, either way, you know, and they're gone. You know, that's actually slander. Her drive but I could actually prove. I could actually... I actually have the people themselves telling me who told them something. And then you can see that it's not true. Then I have the verification that it's not true, but then I have when they stop supporting me with their money and I could add all that money up and I could go, I could right now sue some people. Like I could actually create a case like, and have a slander defamation case against various individuals right now. I could do it. You know what I'm saying? But like this guy sending me a cease and desist is fucking hilarious. So I think I pissed on it. If I, if I recall, 90s car guy, how you doing? I'm an attorney in Pennsylvania. Wipe your ass with that and laugh out loud. It was years ago. I mean, that's from like five years ago. But it was just hilarious. Like I read it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Just stay with it. We're not going anywhere. All of the commercial breaks have been blown out. And right now, oh, here it is. Oh. Here it is. So let's listen in right here on Live. Here we now go again. Fox, here we go. As it looks like maybe the jury could be coming pretty soon right here on Live. I said 10 minutes, uh, but hey, if they're, I mean, I'll take 20 minutes, but I, I thought 10 minutes for the jury. Slander and libel is very hard to prove. Exactly 90s car guy. I mean, you're a lawyer, you know. That's the thing, bro. That's why I don't even bother with it. You know what I mean? It's like when, when, when when the big big fat Kenny Bolin said that uh I've uh DC they are covering this Kenny right Bolin now. said um that you know I I steal my fans money to buy front row tickets or whatever to WWE events until this verdict comes down I mean that was kind of slanderous but but it, but he he wasn't speaking to my fan base, so it didn't impact me financially. Do you know what I mean? When Kenny Bolin said that I steal money from my listeners, and I I buy front row tickets with their with their donation money, but everybody knows that I got those tickets from WWE. But he was speaking to his audience, so in my opinion, it didn't affect almost anybody on my thing. So I would never I wouldn't ever think about trying to like take that to court or something like that. You know what I mean? Because it just had no impact. But I've had former friends and, and other people who have said crazy things. And then I've got legitimately people who were supporting me for years who have said that's the moment they decided to leave. And then when we when I, when we talk about it and they go, oh, I guess like they I guess it was made up about you. Oh, it was. So I've got the person saying they made it up about me. I've got the other person who lied about it, and then I've got the result of losing the money. I could pinpoint all of those, and even that would still be a hard court case to, to fight, and I wouldn't want to do it, probably. Um, but, you know, like, so slander is a crazy, you know, whatever. But if you can't handle people talking shit about you, that's not slander. Someone talking shit about you or somebody making fun of you or whatever, that's not, you know, good luck.
Because you can barely play, you can barely get, you can barely win a real slanderous lawsuit, let alone when someone's just talking trash, you know, about you. I believe. Play a role in defamation. Was that something that Johnny Amber Depp Heard said? Was that something Johnny Depp lost movie roles over this? Amber Heard didn't lose anything. Johnny Depp lost until now. Now Amber Heard's losing stuff. But jury is coming back in. Let's listen right here on live now from Fox. All right, here we go. Oh my God, Jesus! Who just broke their mic? All right, we're ready for the jury. Someone just busted that microphone, bro. There's so many cars because there's like a circus out there. Either way, Amber Heard cries. She's crying no matter what, I'm telling you. All right, we heard you, Joe. Eh? This picture is horrible, by the way. And now it's frozen. <laughs> Now it's freezing. They got problems. You you tell me what the thing with this. What is this? Either way, she cries, bro. Either way, come on. All right, Mr. Four Person, is this the verdict of the jury? All right. Is it unanimous? Yes. Thank you, sir. Jamie? Unanimous. Uh, In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Heard. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Oh! Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Oh, my the God. Sta- question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. <coughs> question, the, de- the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Oh, shit. Question. Due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory impl- implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Wow. Depp. Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Damn. Pay up, Disney. You're next, Disney. Two. As to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition. Quote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, end quote. Here's some more of it. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that, question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard? Answer, yes. Question, How much the money? statement was about Mr. Depp. That's what you're waiting for Answer, now. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Heard. 
Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change in the Washington Post online edition. Quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Damn. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence? Who are all these people question, in this courtroom? The statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. No, Depp told pirates to go Question, fuck itself. He told Disney to fuck off. The defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. It's all about how much money she gets, though. They could award her a dollar. Surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Hurd's claim against Mr. Depp. One, as to this statement appearing in the April 8, 2020, online oh edition God. of the Daily Mail, quote, Amber Hurd and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword. Fuck you, woke motherfuckers! And Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail. Wow! Quote, quite simply, this was an ambush. A hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. End quote. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Hurd proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Yeah, they're fucking everybody. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven by clear and convincing evidence <laughs> that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. What Three, the fuck, dude? As to this statement, appearing in the April 27th, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail. She's going to get money too. They're all going to get money. Of the end <laughs> of Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp. End quote. 
Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Oh, that's the first no, I think. As against John C. Depp the first II, no. we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $0. Uh -huh. Does either side wish to have the jury what? pulled? What? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Jamie? Members of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. If this is not your verdict, please answer no. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Juror, juror number 22. Yes. Juror number 27. Depp is up 13 million, yeah. Yes. I do find that the jury's verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. I know I speak for everybody here uh, when I appreciate, tell you that we appreciate that your sacrifices so and your time. and your. Wait, so, so Johnny Depp is kind of guilty and Amber Heard is guilty? So Amber Heard loses $15 million. Johnny Depp loses $2 million. But they awarded her nothing. So I'm con I don't know what just either Johnny Depp. Want I think Johnny Depp gets $15 million. So Johnny Depp gets $15 million. Amber Heard gets $2 million. And then she, and Johnny Depp right now is on tour with his band in the UK. So Johnny Depp is not there in the courtroom uh, right now. Johnny Depp is out with his band touring around. I'm live now from Fox. If we can, then circulate it to Miss Bretterhoff, and we can have all the objections. So Johnny wins it. essentially. All right. all right. And if I get it before that date, I'll take it off the docket. Okay. All right, again, thank you to all the attorneys uh, for your professionalism, and uh, you're welcome to come to my courtroom anytime. Well, give me a few weeks, but then you can come <laughs> any, anytime, okay? All right. Court is adjourned. Thank you. All right, so court is now adjourned right there. That was the moment we heard, and we heard it from really around the country and around the world right there. Let's join uh, now my co-host right here on Live Now from Fox, Daytona Everett, uh, joining us here with the reaction. Uh, this was a moment. Mike, there's a lot to break down here because uh, technically, yes, the jury did find that Johnny Depp was defamed, but they also found uh, to an extent that Amber Heard was defamed, the jury awarding Johnny Depp $15 million. Now, there's a lot to kind of dive into here. There's punitive damages, there's circumstances and questions that were asked of the jury on whether or not those specific headlines, those specific evidence presented in court uh, was defamatory or not. I want to bring in uh, Imran Ansari. He's a legal analyst who has been mm. with us throughout this trial as well. Wow. Um, Imran, so we know that Johnny her. Depp was defamed and the jury now saying, hey, $15 million worth, but also $2 million being awarded to Amber Heard. How does this all break down? Yeah, Daytona, it's a really interesting verdict here. We sort of had the tide uh, of this trial going in Johnny Depp's favor. And it's been a remarkable trial, really captivated the public's attention here to the point where we are almost spectating as if it was. Honestly, this makes sense. It makes sense. Like it does to me. We're really saying Johnny Depp is going to get this, but we had to take a step back. He basically got the pirate's money. You know what I mean? Part of it is the pirate's money he would have gotten. If I should say of defamation law and I she's gonna have to go on only fans john she'll probably become a multi-millionaire on in like six months if she becomes on a per an only fans person his claim against amber heard but also finding defamation uh in, in favor of amber heard's counterclaim against johnny depp they seem to have understood the nuances of defamation law what needs to be proven actual malice which goes to that landmark supreme court case new york times versus sullivan and here you have a, a verdict in favor of johnny depp but you got to also look at it as a verdict in favor of amber heard of course the real damages here going to johnny depp uh, in terms of that 15 million aggregate uh verdict in terms of damages assessed against amber heard and then two million though 
for Amber Heard. So you see this jury is to be very interesting if we hear from these jurors uh, after this case uh, as to the, the thought process behind it. Uh, but I think that they really saw it during the course of this trial, Daytona, <laughs> a really remarkable uh, opening of the book, I should say, into a very uh, unfortunate marriage. You know, we have to also look at it at, th at this under the context of domestic violence and really how domestic violence could be possibly perpetrated by both a man and a woman in the context of a relationship here. So, ba you know, basically what I what I'm looking at here is that Johnny Depp is going to end up taking home. This is what Leah told me after I looked it up and I thought I was this too. So Leah's telling me the same thing. Depp is going to have $10 million. By the whole time this is done, Je Depp gets $10 million. And Amber Heard will have 350000 And uh, they can negotiate, Leah. My wife says they can now negotiate if they want. So, you know, you may you may find a negotiation happen afterwards where he just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that, I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, Amber Heard might have to open up an OnlyFans. Now, Amber Heard is guilty of everything. Johnny Depp is guilty as well. But Amber Heard is guilty of everything, and the damages: fifteen million for Depp, two million for Amber Heard. She'll end up paying three hundred fifty thousand. He'll end up uh, getting, or she'll end up getting three hundred fifty thousand probably, and uh, Johnny Depp will end up getting ten million. Probably that's what Leah says, and that's what I looked at here. So uh, there you go. The jury awards Amber $2 million for compensatory damages. No punitive. Jury awards Johnny Depp $15 million. Boom. What a crazy day in the courtroom. And Johnny Depp is not there. Johnny Depp is out touring, playing guitar over in the UK. And so Johnny wasn't there. And, I, you know, I actually I actually thought Amber was going to cry more. I got to be honest. I got to call myself out. I was a bit wrong. The hurdles that Johnny Depp had to overcome in order to receive this verdict. I thought she was going to go, uh, astonishing that he was able to do so given these facts, uh, which, again, underscores what the jury has decided here, that they did not buy one single bit of Amber Heard's story. The Supreme Court long ago created a different rule for defamation when public figures are suing, understanding that for whatever reason, we let people have a little more liberty when it comes to criticizing. First, it was public officials, and then that was expanded to public figures. But that actual malice standard, it doesn't have anything to do with hatred. It's more about either knowing your statement is false or recklessly disregarding the falsity of the statement. And what's really interesting is that this is such a complete rejection of Amber Heard's testimony. Yes, the finding on the second count. She can't uh, act. I think when you look. Well, she's got an OnlyFans account. Come on. All right, let me play the donos because I got to get out of here. Uh, we have some donations waiting. Uh, you guys have been waiting patiently. I'm sorry. You all have decided to take your hard-earned money. Oh, shit. And to fund my show, to fund what I do, to fund what I believe in, to fund my godly The ghosts. From JCS the coast. Army. Donate to me. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Diablo Immortal is out. I gotta play some Diablo Immortal today. Yo, Ghost from the Coast, thank you, man. He didn't even say anything. He just dropped in some love. Ghost, thank you for sponsoring the stream, essentially, here with that dono. Thank you, sir. Um, Appreciate it, bro. What's up? What's up? Thank you to Alex Oli. Uh, MJF promo advertised for Dynamite tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a big Dynamite, so we're going to see what uh, MJF has to say tonight. It's going to be very, very interesting. And now look at... Oh, my God. Look who's stopping by, guys. Back-to-back -back drunk and stupid. He was here yesterday dropping bombs. 
DJ Scandal says so she'll probably end up paying $15 million regardless. Yeah, it's a lot of money, man. Johnny Depp basically won. They both kind of lost, but really Johnny Depp won. I mean, he, he won. You know, let's be honest. How appropriate that Amber Turd was awarded a deuce. <laughs> what the fuck? Amber just got pooped on. Smiley face. USA. <laughs> Amber just got pooped on, pooped on, pooped on. Thank you, uh, drunk and stupid. No, Amber Heard gets, no. Depp gets 10 million, bro. Oh, the 5 million punitive has a cap at 350,000. So, so yeah, so Amber Heard's gets 350 and Depp uh, gets 10 million. I mean, that's after all the stuff, right? Either way, whatever. They awarded 15 million to him and 2 million to her. Yo, that's crazy. I uh, I got to be out of here, man. I got to head to work. I got a little big work day, uh, you know. We spent uh, some time hanging out here to get the reaction. That was pretty fucking crazy. So Johnny Depp essentially wins. They both kind of lost, but Johnny Depp really won um by a lot, you know. 15 million for Johnny Depp, 2 million for Amber Heard. Uh drunk and stupid. Thank you for dropping the 49.99, man. He's been dropping the big ones. Fuck, we get about we get about 30 more drunk and stupids in this channel and um I won't have work again. <laughs> but thank you guys. I hope you guys sign up on Patreon. That's a real thing today. You know, obviously it's the first of the month. A lot of people drop off. Um I if you can sign up to my Patreon today, guys, if you really like the channel and the shows and you can, uh, jump on Patreon. I put up the song from the other day, by the way, you can download it now. The people that wanted to hear that it's up on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. Amber dropping big ones. Um, Rittenhouse was not found guilty. Yeah. Rittenhouse was innocent cause he defended himself. So Rittenhouse was not guilty. Uh, Rittenhouse defended himself, so he was found not guilty because he he was fucking defending himself. Kyle Rittenhouse was attacked by a crazy person and, and ended up defending himself. So that's why he didn't lose. Who remembers John Baby and uh, John Depp and Cry Crybaby? Yeah, John Johnny, Johnny Depp's been great in a lot of things. He got screwed on pirates. So how is Johnny guilty for defamation as well? Well, because him and his lawyer, you know, said some things about her that are considered defamation as well. I mean, so they, I don't know the specifics of the comments. We have to go back and listen and hear the whole thing. But either way, I'm sure it was, I'm sure, you know, there's some validity to it. So they, you know, they did bad things to each other. It's just the, the extremism that she claimed his bad things were and how she labeled them. I mean, he lost Pirates of the Caribbean over this. So if he's getting about $10 million when all is said and done, I mean, that's about what he would have gotten on Pirates. So really, you know, Johnny Depp won the money back that he should have had all along. So in my opinion, this was a pretty, this was a pretty fair deal. This was, he was owed that money, you know, um, because he lost those acting roles and jobs because of her comments and this whole defamation and me too thing that happened. So he ends up getting that money back in my, in my opinion, that's the money he was owed from pirates that he would have made on in a couple, in at least a couple movies that he probably lost out on. Does it really matter that much to a guy who's so rich? I don't, not really. It's just the principle. I think that's what he thinks too, is it's the principle that he wants to clear his name. You can't just say things about someone and then they lose a huge role in Disney I mean, Disney are scumbags anyway. Disney will erase a black man from their Chinese-released movies, but then talk about how crazy woke they are when it comes to Obi-Wan and they make up stuff about being attacked and whatever they do. Dude, Disney are a bunch of scumbags. 
Amber was proven guilty on all defamation charges. That's true, Pocket Aces. Johnny Depp was only proven guilty on, I think, about like 80% of them or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the amount, but either way. But yeah, Amber Heard's going to have to make an OnlyFans, bro, to make this money back, let me tell you. And speaking of having to make money back, even though you guys are awesome, and I certainly did uh, thank you for the donations, uh, Alex Oli, the ghost from the coast, drunken, stupid, $49. Thank you guys for that. I am now going to run to my uh, my my job. Uh, the Reva character is trash. It doesn't matter her skin color. I agree, but they're virtue signaling like crazy. Oh, the racism. Yeah, dude, I get threats every day. People threaten to kill me, my family. It's all the time. I've got we've you guys have seen it in the chat for Christ's sake. You guys have seen it in the chat. I don't make videos where I'm like, oh my god, because they're just trolls who want attention, you morons. But Disney is too stupid to understand that. And they're virtue signaling in videos everywhere. You're literally giving the trolls what they want. There's not like a million racists in the country really reaching out because they're really mad about the what she looks like. They're just trolls. Trying to troll people with the worst shit you could think of being said on purpose. And you're virtue signaling it like it's the real thing. It's just like, you're stupid. Disney is dumb. She's dumb. You know what I mean? They are dumb for acknowledging it. It's just stupid people who want attention. But Hollywood's like, oh, and, and Disney, dumb Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for being here during this stream. You're the best. If you guys want more, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I'll see you live tonight for AEW Dynamite. And, of course, MJF is making a big statement tonight live, a promo advertised for MJF tonight on Dynamite. We'll see what that is. I'll see you guys tonight live. Thanks for being here. Leave a like on the way out if you can. And become a member. Hit the sub button, whatever you want to do. Uh, all my links are in the description box down below to follow me all over the place if you'd like to. And I will, uh, I'll catch you guys tonight. Johnny Depp wins a bunch of money. Jury sides with Johnny Depp. Now write hard ones in the chat, everybody. Hard ones. Peace out.